I want to bring my little Doug over here so you can see him. He's walking around. He is right here. Now, I watch videos on how to train your Doug to walk on the treadmill. But there's some important facts that they forgot to tell you. I discovered this myself from my previous Terrier, from my Airedale Terrier. Step number one that I learned recently, when you're going to put your dog on a treadmill, it's best to take them for a walk. I'm going to say it again. It's best to take your dog for a walk so it can poop outside. You don't want it to poop on a treadmill. You see right here already a couple of mistakes that my dog made, but I did take them outside. But I kept him on a treadmill longer. So, come, Noogie. Come here, Noogie. Here. This one, I'm, and, and then if you to take him outside, I want to show you. Now, my dog, he already been on the treadmill, so he don't feel like, come here, Noogie. Look. He's coming for his food now. So, when you have your dog on the treadmill, before you take your dog for a walk, to help speed up their bowel movement and their urination, you should rub them underneath the bottom for a couple minutes. I got that out for you, too. I learned that. I'm going to say it again. To help your dog speed up the bowel movement, you should rub them, you should give them their tummy rub for a couple moments. Now, the reason I'm, I'm going over, I use the treadmill because of work. Doing, I'm an educator by trade. When I was off from school, I didn't care for the treadmill because I can take my dog for how many walks I felt like it. I took him for a walk early in the morning because here on the East Coast, during the summer times, it get hot, so I would get up like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning and take him for a walk. Then I would try to take him, and when I took him for the walk, since he, he's a hyper breed, I had him one of them, uh, like them flex leashes. I took him to the parks around schools. Then at 7 p.m., when the temperature got more temperate and cooler, I would use, you know, the traditional leash. You know, the leash that's about 3 meters long. I would take him for a walk that around my neighborhood. To get your dog used to the treadmill, come in, Noogie. You should at least stand by the treadmill in the beginning. For the first couple of seconds, you see my dog right here. He's standing, I hope you can see him. He's standing with me by the treadmill. That's step one. Have them get used to walking by the treadmill. You don't gotta turn it on. Have them get used to it. Then step two, when they, when they feel comfortable just walking by it, then you can give them some snacks on the treadmill. I, I, get, I put all the things on the treadmill so he can walk on the treadmill and touch it. See, he's touching it. He's getting the snacks on the treadmill. And you see he's not afraid to get on the treadmill. He will step on it. So that's not step number two. Put some snacks on it. Why? It's off. Remember, it's off. Why it's off, you can put snacks on it. Then when they're comfortable with the treadmill, then you can turn it on to like to the lowest speed. I'm gonna put it on level one. You see, he's used to it already, so he's still moving on it. Then on level one, you can throw the snacks on the treadmill, and then go to the end to get the snacks. So I'm gonna keep putting snacks on here for him. Here's another snack. Again, another snack. And another. So that's step one. When I make my next video, I'm gonna show you strategies to, to use when you're dealt on a treadmill. But before I conclude this video, I want to go over the important facts that I never saw mentioned on any video. Before you put your dog on a treadmill, it's best to take him or her for a short walk. You know, if you're working like I am now, I'm back in education here on the East Coast. I can't go for them long walks anymore. I only take them for the long walks on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But, but from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I make a, a quick walk so he can smell a little neighborhood and he poop. And remember, for the pooping, I massage under his or her bottom for a minute or two. And then when they go out for the walk, within a five minute span, they should poop. You do that, you don't have to be waiting for 10 or 15 minutes from the pool. So thank you for stopping by. My next one is going to be when he's running. I'm going to connect the video together. So.
It's going to be one long video. So when you come back in a few moments, a few seconds, you'll see him preparing to run on a treadmill. All right, so here's the continuation. I want to demonstrate something. Let's see. I want to demonstrate something. Hold on. So you all see, my dad. So the purpose of that was just to demonstrate that my dog is comfortable with the treadmill. I'm not forcing him to do anything. When he get on the treadmill, you know, it's because he wants to. You know, usually he want to eat the food. But he, you see, for my demonstration, he's not scared of the treadmill. So right now, I'm going to get, because every time I put him there, I try to put some treats on there for him to eat. To make him like it more. All right, so now we're ready. Now, if you look, if you've looked on YouTube, if you can see this, the string I have in my hand is like, you know, it's um a leash attached to my treadmill. Let me see if I can bring it up some more, a little bit more. You walking around this treadmill, Nookie, here, here, here. He's freely walking around. See, he jumped around freely. Now I'm going to attach the leash. You should put your leash on the treadmill. Whenever you see the majority of treadmills with a dove on it, it always has some leash for holding them on a the treadmill, not the human holding them. So I'm going to put them on a the leash. And today, as I said in the beginning of this, I took them for a brief walk, about one minute. Here on the East Coast, where I live at, the temperature today is 95 degrees. You know doves don't sweat, so 95 degrees is intolerable for them. But I took him outside so he just can poop and smell a little bit. As I stated earlier, before, he, before I took him for the walk, I kept rubbing his underbelly, as you see I'm doing now. I rubbed that for a couple minutes. Then I, when, I took him for the, when I took him for his walk, he pooped within one minute. So you, if you want to do it to sort of poop fast, rub under that belly, give him a, you know, like a little belly rub for a couple, like a minute or so. When you take him outside to poop, you don't have to be walking forever for them to poop. So I'm going to start the treadmill now. I usually start it on a low level, and you're going to see too, to him, the treadmill is a joke. You're going to be seeing his, his behavior on the treadmill. So let me get him situated. And where it's called, you're going to see it's a joke to him until I increase the speed. I have it on level two now. So watch it. And I put it on level two just to warm them up. And I have a timer too. It's good to have a timer. You can use your, your, the timer for your... Um, you can use the timer on your cell phone, but I have a specific timer that I always keep on my, uh, you know, the treadmill, so I don't have to go be wild with my cell phone looking for it. And I usually set it for 10 minutes. So you see his plan. You see where he's at. To him, it's a joke. So when he do that, I have to increase the speed to number three. So I got it on number three for a couple seconds. And the highest speed I put it on is four. See, he's taking it for a joke. So I may put it on four, but I, I have to stay. And you see, and when you have yourself in a treadmill, never leave them alone. Even though I have a seat right here, I don't sit down much. So I have to make sure he's going okay. So I'm going to leave it on three for a couple minutes. So he, see, he gets He's taking it for a joke. So I'm going to put it on level four where it makes him work a little bit more. On number four, he has to do a lot of work. But thank you for stopping by. You are seen. You can get the dub on the treadmill. They can do it. But you should do it. You always stay, be, stay, be near them. He only been doing it for a week, so he's not no. He only been doing it for so he's not no pro at it. 
But he's coming along, as you can see, he's coming along. So thank you for stopping by. Good luck for plenty of dough on the treadmill. And as you know, if you did your research, it has a whole lot of benefits. You know already, if you're on a treadmill, it's going to increase your heart strength. It's going to increase your joint mass. I mean, your bones and your joint dexterity. So go on YouTube, read about the benefits of a treadmill. For your dog and you know it for the human. Alright, thank you for stopping by. Till the next time, peace.